So Lee Pycroft is an amazing makeup artist and also an even more amazing psychotherapist. I've been in the makeup industry working as a makeup artist with lots of celebrities and magazines and that kind of thing. So I've worked in the, I've worked in the industry for 28, over 28 years. We've known each other for years, haven't we? We have, we have. Let's not mention for how long. Yeah, exactly. And, um, and then because I really experienced also through some of the work I've done in the vulnerable sectors using me makeup as a form of self care. I realised how powerful it can be. So, and realised seeing the transformation some women would go through when they were having a makeup, um, their makeup done. So it became less about the products we use in themselves and more about the feeling that it generated. Back about, I became a psychotherapist. And now I also run a private practice, and I see people for all sorts of different issues, from stress to anxiety, which is very common, depression. Um, you know, overwhelm, all those sorts of things. I mean, you're the perfect person to speak to about kind of how we can use, make our um, beauty routines help us in this kind of bizarre situation we're in. What are your kind of top tips of how we can help de-stress and make ourselves feel better? I think the thing to remember is that the reason people get distressed is when a lot of their emotional needs are not met, right? Now we're sort of common, you know, we all know our physical needs, but emotional needs at the moment, people will be worried about safety and security and control and autonomy and connection. And the great thing about a beauty ritual is it gives you a routine throughout your day and it gives you in a strange way, a certain control over what's happening. And this is a small thing in some ways, but actually what over time actually builds up to be something that is, you know, the routines and rituals we have each day can help have a calming effect on us because we know what's going to happen next, right? But I find that I'm using, a, I'm, I'm creating more of a routine in the bathroom now than ever mm. before. Yes, yes. And the interesting thing about that, Donna, is another emotional need is privacy. And while we're all caught up in, some of us, you know, maybe alone, but some of us maybe with our family more than we've been with them in a long time, yeah. you know, especially with kids home the whole time and maybe partners working from home or we're living with relatives or whatever. And so that need for, for privacy can often be amplified in some situations. So that time you give yourself in the morning is an opportunity and in the evening to slow things down a little bit and to check in with yourself and to see how you're feeling, not just rushing through the ritual, but what you're saying about using it more to actually check in, well, how do I feel? Because we're so used to rushing around and being in our heads and everything moving very quickly, because that's what in society really we celebrate most is achievement and who can be the busiest, right? But actually that calming down and going through a cleansing ritual with some sort of more presence to it and awareness of what we're doing, you know, the, the, the feel of the uh, sensory product on our skin, you know, massage techniques on our face, the feel of the water, you know, some rounds of breathing. And all of this helps calm down your nervous system. And when you do that, when we are calm, we can think more clearly. And so things I love to do in the morning would be body brushing, for example, yeah. because I think it stimulates my body. I, mean, I, it, I feel more alive after I body brush because I love to do the bottom of my legs and my feet and everything. Yeah. I find it can just, I feel a bit of a buzz afterwards because it's, it's like everything's tingling and alive. Yeah, it's like going for so, a run. Yeah. kind of equate it to going for a run. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's great for dry skin as well. It sort of slouts everything off. And then getting in the shower and using um, a sensory product or a product that I love the scent of. Because of course, you know, our, our, the sense of smell is connected to your limbic system, you know, where your emotions are. And you uh, see, so that's why people often with the association with smell, it will be quite uh, evoke different memories. You know, mousse you put on in the morning, in the shower, that you, that you love the scent of it and you love the texture of it. And then I think also what can be really good is moving between a warm shower and then having it slightly cooler. I can't tolerate the really cold showers, which are great for um, you know reducing inflammation in the body and, and waking us up. But I'm I'm a bit of cold averse, but but um, you know when you can when you can move between the two temperatures, it can also be very invigorating. So I think that 
can also be a great way of setting us up and, and uh, you know, make us feel invigorated to start our day too. What about, I mean, for me, I've been slobbing it a bit as far as makeup. Um, but the second week in, I feel like I'm making a bit more of an effort. Like, so today I've curled my lashes, which is a big thing in these days. Um, <laughs> I've put a little bit of blusher on. Yesterday I wore lipstick because I was in a bit of an anxious mood. So I, I put on um, some colourful bright lipstick to go to Sainsbury's. Um, so what, what are the things that we can do? I've had a lot of my followers saying, I just want a bit of oomph to make me feel better. Oh yeah, and, it, and it's so interesting. I think the things that I really love, think things like um, a creamy blush, like a bit of color in your cheeks. I think the other great thing, if you're feeling a bit sort of lackluster makeup wise, is a bright lipstick. Yeah. I mean, I think that you know, there's one that I always put on, which is like my happy lipstick, if you like, because the color I find is just um, so brightening. Um, and so this is one that I absolutely love, which is actually a MAC one. This is actually called Relentless Red, but this one oh. is actually more of a sort of corally colour. Can you see? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what? I've brought a lipstick down. I might put one. This is a Clarins Mousse and it's a red, but it's a bit of a more kind of tint. So it's not such yeah. a, um, a commitment kind of thing. And I think patting it on with your finger, beds it into the lips makes the lip line look soft and just brightens the skin. So I think that that can be really lovely. Um, I think the other product I love is this one by Jill Dempsey, actually, which is called Lid Tint. <gasps> oh, I've seen but those. this is actually clear. And this, I think, that is really, really nice if you want to sort of put a little bit on, say, your cheeks like that. A little bit. So if you're feeling a bit dehydrated or flat, it can just give you a burst of kind of luminosity to your skin as well, which I think is really pretty. Um, putting on a bit of mascara, because uh, the other mascara I've been using recently, which I absolutely love, is this one by Kat Von D. Ooh, and it's called, it. it's called Go Big or Go Home. Oh, well, <laughs> we haven't got much choice. We've got to go home, haven't we? Go big and stay home. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> there you go. You better email them. Why yeah. do you love it so much? As a makeup artist, you must have tried so many mascaras. So many mascaras, yeah. What is it? I'll tell you why I love this. I can't know if you can see it in my glasses, but can you yeah. Gorgeous. see it this far away? But what, what I find is, I mean, I normally go for a thinner brush than this, right? But even on my lashes, which tend to be very fine, but they're long, it builds up incredibly quickly. It gives an enormous amount of volume and length and it stays incredibly well. That's why I love it. And it's jet black. Um, but you can also layer it. So sometimes if I have days where maybe I'm only putting a bit of mascara on, I will maybe um, just paint the tips of my lashes. They look long, but they still look quite fine. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And often I'll sort of put my finger on them and blow them up like that rather than curling them. Oh, I love that tip. So I think those... Mm. A great, very quick, pick you up um, little things you can do to your makeup, and I think also a great concealer can yeah. be uh, can be really brightening on them. You put it on very strategically, sort of maybe just in the inner corners where it's particularly dark. Because I'm very dark under my and eyes. You're not committing to a full face of makeup, are you? Because that's the thing we don't exactly. really want to be loading it on when we're staying at home. I mean, we want to look nice because we. Looking nice makes us feel good inside, doesn't it? But we don't want to, the full-on commitment of laying stuff on. You spoke about fragrance. I've been wearing a lot more fragrance because I feel mm. like it's really helping to pick me up and just transport me somewhere. I've been wearing Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, which I love, to try and take me to... It's like the beak, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I've been lighting um, the Floral Street, um, the new fragrance brand. They've got a candle called Fireplace. Fireplace, I think it is. I've been lighting that to make me feel like I'm in a pub drinking wine. I mean, I'm still drinking wine. <laughs> but, you know, like uh, to transport sport me to different places. And I love candles. There's something about the ritual of seeing, of, of putting it out, lighting it smelling the aroma of it. I love the Balance Me one, which is really gorgeous. I actually use it in my therapy room a lot. I even use sometimes like a rollerball and I might put it on my wrists and I might just I've literally in. got one of, by my bed, 
I've yeah. got one on my desk. I've got one in the kitchen to mm. just give me that moment of escape, especially if everything's getting on top. I'm homeschooling two kids. My husband's away. I've got to do dinner. I'm looking after my mum and dad who are ill. I just come sometimes just sit down, get that roller ball and just breathe it in and just concentrate to breathe. That's the other thing, isn't exactly it? Exactly that. And of course, when people are struggling with anxiety or their mind is racing and they're imagining all these things they don't want to have happen, often the breathing becomes very shallow and is in the chest. And this can almost work like a talisman, a moment where every time you pick it up, it anchors you. You associate it with breathing into your diaphragm. And often I talk about this on, on my Instagram page you know, and testing that, you know, you can test where you're breathing by putting one hand on your chest and the other on your belly. And when you breathe in, making sure your belly's coming out rather than your chest being like that. So if your belly's expanding like a balloon, right? Yes. You're breathing in and then you're breathing out with a longer out breath. So often I will talk about seven eleven. So you're breathing in for seven, out for 11. So using something like this and just for... A couple of minutes, two to three minutes, doing some rounds of breath into your diaphragm, longer out breath, using the imagination to take yourself to a place you associate with tranquility will help you stay calm. So is this um, something you can do as well before bed? Because I don't know about you or other people. I mean, last night I really was struggling to sleep. Um, there's lots going on in everyone's lives, but we're all joined by this one thing that we're all anxious about so i think sleep at the moment must be or lack of sleep must be a common problem with a lot of people here's the thing when people start to worry excessively what happens is it it creates a lot of emotion what you call emotional arousals during the day there's a lot of emotion being generated throughout the day and worry doesn't ever you know often doesn't get completed so what happens when they go to bed is often they can get too much dream sleep where the body and the brain is trying to complete those cycles of emotion that happen throughout the day and they don't get enough slow wave sleep. So then often they can wake up feeling demotivated and tired. So the wind down ritual before bed is crucial where maybe the products are more sensory in terms of they're more oils. They, um, you know, taking a bit more time to massage your skin, you know, using warm water, um, you know, even using one of those cloths, you know, those that I call them teddy bear cloths, you know, to remove yeah. everything. I think the other thing I actually use at sleep is this one. This is by Balance Me. Ooh, this is the hyaluronic, um, this is the, the Beauty Sleep Hyaluronic Mist. Ooh, this yeah. has got hyaluronic acid in it, it's got essential oils, and it's got full spectrum CBD oil. So you spray it on your chest. And as your skin warms up in bed, you smell all the aromatherapy oils. Pre-bed ritual is never more important now than ever. It's not just about removing, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I need to cleanse and I need to do this because I need to remove my makeup. I need to take the day off. But this now for me, my, my um, bedtime beauty ritual is more about how I'm going to feel when I'm in bed. I'm going to feel cosseted and cosy and I'm just going to smell nice. And that's just going to make me feel better and sleep better. Okay, well, I think that was so helpful. And I really, I mean, the breathing techniques, the picking up something to remind me to focus, the listing before bedtime, there are so many things that I'm gonna definitely use every day now. And all your amazing makeup tips as well. I'm loving the eyelash. <laughs> the blow drying your eyelashes up. <laughs> <laughs> keeping it practical girls <laughs> and just putting that bit of lipstick on just you know it's just it's just so good and I think in a time where we're all feeling so overwhelmed you know these kind of tips feel good tips are so great so I really appreciate you giving your time to chat with me and to share all your tips with our followers oh my gosh thank you it's been lovely as always and um let us know everyone what you think if you've got yeah. any questions then uh yeah, yeah. We'll be here to answer them. All right, then. Well, I'm going to go off to Sainsbury's again with my sequins on. Big day out. <laughs> I might even go to the park for my half an hour walk. Yeah, no, don't overdo it, Donna. <laughs> I won't. So stay safe, stay well, and I'm sure I will. Yeah, lots of love. Take care. Bye. Bye.